Hey, uh, there is uh, something we've been covering here on the Camo Dave channel for many years in the, uh, in the uh, southwestern USA. It's something called Valley Fever. And it's basically a fungus that grows in the desert that you inhale. And, and some people get no symptoms. They, they just, whatever. But other people can get very, very sick from it. It can cause skin rashes. It can cause fevers. It can cause joint pain. It can cause uh, nodules in your lungs that can um, cause breathing issues. Some people, it's like, it's kind of like Lyme disease where some people get it and hardly know they have it or don't know they have it. And other people have like incredible symptoms and get sick and, and chronically ill from it. And a small percentage of people actually die from it. Valley fever, it has a very long name. I'll get to that in a second. But very interesting article in Wired here. Valley fever is spreading through a hotter, drier Western U.S., I'll put a link to this article here. There it is right there. I'll put a link to that in the description below. But a very interesting article here that is basically saying that the drier conditions in the Southwest over the last few years, again, some people say caused by global warming, uh, but whatever, uh, the drier conditions in the West, along with the fires and stuff like that, creates an environment that creates more of this fungus. Uh, what's happening in the West is they're, they're saying that researchers speculate that a pattern of intense drought followed by intense rain may be driving the rise in valley fever cases, which are up in different studies, some studies as high as 800% a year or over the course of several years. So that's, you know, eight times. Uh, when there's a prolonged, prolonged drought, the fungus in the soil tends to dry up and die. But no drought goes on forever, at least not in most parts of the U.S. When the rains come back, the fungus flourishes even better than it did before. Then when the next drought hits, soils in the fungus dry out again, and it's easy for the wind or a firefighter's shovel or hiker's boot to disturb and disseminate the abundant rain rain spurred spores. Say that again, rain spurred spores. So what happens is these intense monsoon rains that they've gotten, they've had, they've had that over the summer there in the, uh, in, in Arizona and the south, southern parts of uh, desert parts of California create um, an abundance of this fungus. Then it dies off in the next drought and then the wind blows the dust and then you get the spores from the dead, I, I'm not going to get into all that. It gets into your lungs and it gets on your skin and it causes things. So there's noticing, basically, in short, a, a, a rise in these, this particular virus. Uh, it's called C-O-C-C-I-D-I-O-I-D-E-S. Cochi... Cochidiotes, co co I don't know how you pronounce it, C-O-C-C-I-D-I-O-I-D-E-S. That is technically the name of the fungus that is found in that uh, region. Uh, they say that it's not evenly distributed. Okay, and then it's Cocodimyocicus. <laughs> Again, C-O-C-C-I, here, I'll let you look at it. There you go, that's easier. There it is. <laughs> That's the name of the, the disease you get from this particular uh, culture of fungus. Okay, go tell your and if you, if, you know anyway. So anyway, you can get it's a whole lot of a whole lot of um, a whole lot of symptoms. You can get lesions on your face, on your body, rash. You can get joint issues. You can have insomnia. You can have m mental issues. You can have breathing issues. You can get nodules in your lungs. And some people, it can get really, really bad. And in a small percentage of cases, people actually die from these long-term effects. So anyway, fevers, um, yeah, rashes, it's, it's nasty. Anyway, I'll put a link to this article, but there, that's what it looks like. Well, that's what it looks like. Ooh. So anyway, if you're out in the Pacific uh, Southwest, I used to say Pacific Southwest, hey, Pacific Northwest, Pacific Southwest there along um, you know, Death Valley over into Quartzsite, uh, anywhere there, there's desert and there's this boom and bust between drought and then monsoon. And that's getting worse, apparently, with the continuing heating of the earth. Uh, whatever.
global warming. Again, we got to get, oh, global warming, how to, don't you dare talk about that. There should be a law against it anyway. I do think climate change is, you know, again, you can debate whether climate change is happening. It's happening. But then again, you debate what's causing it. Now, I'm not going to get into that. But it's like everything is politicized now, isn't it? We can't talk about anything without it being politicized. You know, oh, don't wear a mask. Don't take your vaccine. Oh, don't talk about climate change. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Anyway, we can still talk about it so far. Anyway, so, um, anyway, but uh, that's looking what it's going on. So, you know, again, let's not even talk about the V. Let's talk about Valley Fever, and uh, that's getting worse. So uh, be careful out there. There's a lot of things to be careful about. Take care. Vlog under.